I would love to have the North Carolina film incentives back in place. I mean, that really is a boon to this industry. We're a clean industry. We're not leaving, you know, um, ash everywhere in our rivers and streams. We clean up after ourselves. There's no physical harm done to the environment. Um, I, you know, the, the tax breaks that we had for these big studio films, it puts a lot of people to work. And a lot of these are s small business owners that have, the guy that, that did my fire, that was not a real fire, that was a gas-fed fire that we had a line trenched underground and we had a guy manning a gas tank to keep that, those flames at certain heights for different camera angles. And the guy, the special effects guy, his company is in Wilmington, North Carolina. His business was devastated, and he's probably, truth be told, in Georgia somewhere right now, having to work away from his family who lives here, um, because the film left here. When, when our current governor went into office, he ended all film incentives, and it crushed a lot of families in eastern North Carolina and, and the Charlotte area as well. I just did a table read for a pilot that's shooting in Charleston right now, a uh, week before last, and the entire crew from that was on Good Behavior, the last show that was in production in North Carolina, in Wilmington. They have all are down there shooting a pilot away from their families. They don't get to sleep in their bed at night. They have to sleep in a hotel room. Um, and then they come home on the weekends when they can. Our, our weeks usually start early. Our, our call times are usually 6.30 or 7 in the morning on Mondays. And by the end of the week, we're going in at noon because we work on average about a 14-hour day. So if you go in at noon, you can expect to get off about midnight or 2 a.m. So that's on a Friday. So you're not going to get home to the wife and kids that night. You're going to have to drive Saturday morning and then turn around Sunday night to drive back for a Monday morning early call time. So your weekends are shot. So it's great to live at home so you can drive eight miles across town or ten or whatever it is, sleep in your own bed and get up and spend the weekend with your family. But we don't get to do that anymore thanks to the politicians that don't see it worthwhile to make film in North Carolina. I mean, you go back... 30 years to Matlock. I mean, we've, we've always had film and television in North Carolina. Sleeping with the Enemy was shot here. And, I mean, Iron Man alone, I don't know how much money they spent in North Carolina on small businesses, but a dear friend of mine has an uh, industrial supply company in Wilmington, and he just sold to that uh, production alone over $100,000 in PVC and little gadgets and, you know, widgets for whatever they needed for that film, screws and nuts and bolts and that kind of stuff. That's just one business. And it didn't decimate his business. He has a very established business in the industrial arena, but that movie brought a lot of money to North Carolina. And it put a lot of, they don't think about the bed and breakfast, the, the oceanfront houses that the producers and the actors stay in on Figure Eight Island that they have to rent out a week at a time, or the 60 Enterprise rental cars that are rented that have to be maintained by somebody here in North Carolina. You know, there, there's a, it's a trickle down. There's a lot of, a lot of people who are affected. The guy, I know a guy who's in Hampstead, North Carolina. He repairs the bodywork on all Enterprise cars between Newburn, Wilmington, and Raleigh. So when they're driving one of those 15 passenger vans through some, through the woods to some remote location, and they hit a, a rock or something, and it puts a ping in the side of the door. That's the guy that pulls the dent out of the door for Enterprise. He's affected. So it's a lot of people that. The government doesn't even consider. They only see the hard numbers. They don't see the guys three and four steps down the chain. So.